Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Rosie and Jeb Bush urge 2020 GOP primary challenge to Donald Trump. They regret it. Rosie O'Donnell and Jeb Bush have something in common. They both are urging the Republican Party to back other GOP candidates in the 2020 primary. That's right. They don't think President Donald Trump should be the nominee even though he is the sitting president. I think someone should run just because Republicans ought to be given a choice, Bush said, and of course Trump hater Rosie agreed. Well, they both were made to regret it. E.B. Bush should know better. When Rosie O'Donnell is retweeting your idea on political matters, it's time to take a hard look at what you are doing. Yet, Jeb couldn't help himself. Whether it was his deep-seated jealousy, or he got his marching orders for the GOP Never Trump crowd, Bush is calling for Republicans to advocate for challengers to Trump in the 2020 primary. This is never done. The party in power in the White House always has as their nominee the sitting president. And with President Trump's approval ratings higher than Obama's were at this point, why would you call for a challenger? Well, Rosie O'Donnell tweeted damn right, to low-energy Jeb's idea to oust Trump as the nominee in 2020. Former failed presidential candidate Jeb Bush believes that someone should challenge President Donald Trump in 2020, Breitbart reports. I think someone should run just because Republicans ought to be given a choice, Bush said in an interview with CNN contributor David Axelrod. Bush acknowledged that it would be difficult for a Republican to challenge Trump, but he believed it would be good for conservatism. It's hard to beat a sitting president, but to have a conversation about what it is to be a conservative, I think it's important, he continued. Trump has a has a strong, loyal base and it's hard to beat that, Jeb noted. And our country needs to have competing ideologies that people, that are dynamic, that focus on the world we're in and the world we're moving towards rather than revert back to a nostalgic time, Bush added. Tensions between Bush and Trump often boiled during the battle for the 2016 Republican presidential nomination. Trump famously branded Bush as low energy and mocked him for getting his mommy involved in the race. Bush denounced Trump as an unserious bully, among other jabs between the two. In January 2016, for example, Trump mocked Bush for having his mother Barbara Bush appear in a campaign ad for him. Just watch Jeb's ad where he desperately needed mommy to help him. Jeb, mom can't help you with ISIS, the Chinese or with Putin. Trump posted to Twitter. Bush said Trump was a candidate of chaos, a bully, and not a serious candidate during a 2015 CNN appearance. And Jeb may have found his man in Larry Hogan, the Maryland governor, who the failed presidential candidate just loves. Rumors are Hogan will challenge Trump and is throwing his hat in the ring come 2020 campaign time thanks to the backing of the Never Trump crowd. Well, Americans who are registered Republicans aren't going for Jeb's big power play. Of course he'd encourage an RNC candidate other than Trump. The swamp monsters want their unopposed hold on power back, and since their fraternity is bipartisan, this would be the desired outcome," tweeted Augusta Owens. The Bush clan do nothing without the support of the neocon wing of the GOP, also known as the GOP elite, who are also in league with the Democratic old boys. These guys are just dying with Trump as president, they want never-ending wars. Jeb Bush had his big chance. His campaign coffers were filled with $130 million, yet he could not touch Trump. More importantly, the failed candidate is parroting the talking points of the never Trumpers who don't care that President Trump's presidency is much more conservative than Daddy Bush or George W. Trump's working for the little guys and the middle class, whereas the never Trumpers are globalists and are only out to pad the accounts of their elite friends' corporations. It's time Jeb Bush hear Americans loud and clear to go back to whatever million dollar ranch he is living in. And next time Rosie O'Donnell thinks he is a good idea, it's time for poor Jeb stop calling himself a true conservative American. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.